What is the redox code? The redox code is an attempt to simplify the complicated science of redox signaling. Specifically, the redox code is a layman's description of the body's process of cell repair and regeneration. In short, how your body's cells heal from damage and disease. The human body is composed of trillions, trillions of cells. That's 10 to the 14th power or 100 trillion, according to Science NetLeaks, a resource for teachers. Now, by its simplest definition, a cell is a microscopic bag of seawater called a cytosol. But that bag is a complex factory. It's formed out of proteins created from genetic instruction. And now, the power cell of this factory is an organelle called the mitochondrion. And the mitochondrion's primary job is to produce the fuel known as ATP, that's adenosine triphosphate, that power the other microscopic machines in your, inside your cells. And protein regulators determine how much ATP fuel is used and when. Now the key to this process is determined by a variety of different molecules, both inside and surrounding the cell. These molecules and proteins are signaling messengers that communicate between the machinery in the cell to determine how the cell operates and how it responds to normal changes in the environment, as well as to alarms that are caused by threats, damage, lack of oxygen, changes in temperature, etc. Now there are thousands of these cellular messengers, and those are the ones that we know of, performing critical tasks and functions inside and outside of the cell more are constantly being discovered. But for purposes of the redox code, we're primarily concerned with just two of them. Now recently, science established that a chemical balance of small reactive redox messengers is essential to the healing process and the regulation of the immune system. The name redox comes from the ability of these messengers to reduce and or oxidize molecules in their environment. What that means is reduction in oxidation mean that the molecules have to give away, which is to oxidize, or accept, which is to reduce, electrons to and from other molecules in their vicinity. Now, two, the two re redox messengers we're interested in are the reactive oxygen species, or ROS, and the reduced species, the RS. They are the smallest and most functional universal signaling molecules in the body, and they're integral to the healing process. Every cell works to maintain a careful chemical balance for hundreds of thousands of types of molecules that are within it. And optimal health depends on a stable condition where the rate at which the molecules are being produced in a cell is the same as the rate that they are being taken apart and recycled elsewhere. This balance is called homeostasis. Now, when the homeostatic balance inside any cell is disturbed, there's either a buildup or a depletion of certain types of molecules. If there's a deficiency of a certain type of molecule, the cell can respond by increasing the production of it. If there's an excess amount of a certain molecule, the cell can increase the production of the enzyme that breaks down that molecule. Now, the key to your health is to make sure your cells have the raw materials they need to maintain that healthy chemical balance. What does this mean for you? Well, the redox messengers mentioned earlier are constantly being produced in the cell and are constantly being eliminated at the same rate by a variety of protective enzymes, which you probably know as antioxidants. About half the redox messengers can be categorized as oxidants, and the other half can be categorized as reductants. Every time an oxidant is made, a reductant must be concurrently uh, made to counterbalance it. Now, the reductants must balance out the oxidants. By the way, reductant is a contrived nickname referring to the chemical counterparts of the oxidants. Oxidants have a bad name because many are free radicals that have high energy unpaired electrons and they will blow apart whatever they come into contact with. Oxidants will damage DNA, blow holes in cellular membranes, destroy important proteins, etc. 
Reductants are also hazardous, grabbing electrons away from molecules and causing destruction as well. Now, we used to think of antioxidants as the heroes of the cell because they neutralize harmful oxidants and reductants and leave harmless seawater, mo seawater molecules in their, waste, in their wake. But oxidants, historically thought to be the villains, are now recognized as central to healthy cellular functioning. You would not be able to live without either oxidants or reductants. The homeostatic balance requires that the oxidants and the reductants must be produced and eliminated and perfectly balanced in equal proportions. As long as there are equal proportions of oxidants and reductants, the antioxidants can readily neutralize them as fast as they're created. But the antioxidants need equal proportion of oxidants and reductants in order to function. So antioxidants keep potentially harmful molecules away from protected areas of the cell by neutralizing and then recycling them. That's why your immune system uses such large amounts of such oxidants as a weapon of choice against harmful invading bacteria and viruses. This is the key to understanding how the body heals itself. When the homeostatic balance is disturbed, Somewhere in the cell, there is either a buildup or a deficiency of the normal quantity of protein. When this happens, the redox messenger production becomes unbalanced, producing many more oxidants and reductants, or vice versa. In other words, cell damage ultimately manifests itself as a buildup of oxidants or reductants. This condition is called oxidative stress, and it occurs in almost all defective or stressed cells in every living thing. Oxidative stress sends a clear signal that damage has occurred somewhere and that the cell is defective. When the excess oxidants are not balanced by the reductants and cannot effectively be neutralized by antioxidants, the cell sends an alert to the immune system and surrounding cells via the redox messengers. The immune cells then spring into action following the redox messenger signal following the redox messenger signal trail into the most damaged areas. If the imbalance or oxidative stress condition cannot be corrected by the attempts of the cell to fix itself, the oxidants will continue to build up. After about two hours, the fatally damaged cell starts a programmed cell suicide sequence called apopt uh, apoptosis. In short, the cell will kill and dismantle itself so that it can be replaced by a healthy cell. This is how the healing process begins. Now there are three things in the cells in your body must do to help them win their everyday battles against damage and aging. The first is to defend and protect themselves. When this is ineffective and the cells are damaged, they work to repair that damage and if a cell cannot be repaired, then it must be replaced. The cell communication process for protecting, repairing, and replacing is the function of the redox signaling molecules. It's a collaborative effort among your trillions of cells to keep you happy, <laughs> to keep you healthy. Sorry about that. If you lose your health, it can always be attributed to a group of cells that have been damaged or are not functioning properly. That's why the process of constantly repairing or replacing damaged cells is critical to maintaining your health. Stressful lifestyles and the environments we live in are increasing the strain we put on our bodies. Poor food choices, chemicals and toxins, daily anxiety and tension, even sunlight and exercise all contribute to cellular damage and stress on the immune system. And your body is working harder than ever to maintain homeostasis and proper balance. In cases where you find autoimmune disorders or chronic disease, the reactive molecules produced by the body are out of balance. And the cells are failing to respond properly to oxidative stress or repair the damage that is occurring. This negatively affects the healing process. The key to to your health is making sure your cells have the materials they need to maintain homeostatic balance. 
If your cells are healthy, then your whole body will be in good health. Now, there's something more you can do to help your cells and your body. ASEA, the only science-based product on the market that supplements the balanced set of reactive molecules, mirroring those produced naturally by healthy cells in your body to protect and fortify your body, And as a result, ASEA is a unique natural supplement that helps balance the body's cellular chemistry and support the overall function of the immune system. Now, for more information about ASEA and how, to, and how it helps maintain the balance for better healing, visit www.theredoxcode.com. ASEA, Advancing Life. Special thanks to Dr. Gary L. Samuel, Samuelson, Ph.D. Uh, his, pro, his book provided most of the information and structure for this presentation. So for a more comprehensive overview of the subject, read The Science of Healing Revealed, New Insights into Redox Signaling. And it's available from most ASEA distributors. Thanks for watching.